Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip. Today I want to talk about the key index expression. What the key index expression is, it's a way of telling your layer what keyframe it should be looking at. And you can use sliders and things like that to drive this so you don't have to worry about where the playhead is. You can do it with keyframes and sliders and things like that. It's pretty nifty. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into this text layer, click on the source text, and I'm going to just go through and change this and go through it again and just change this to different words, right? So normally if I'm doing uh, keyframing and changing like this, if I want to change back to this first word, well then I have to come down here and click into the source text and retype it in there and things like that. But if I add this key index expression, let me show you what happens. Let's first add a slider to this. So let's add an expression to that. And first thing, I do need to come up to the slider and make that a one because zero is not is going to break the expression. So let's write key and in parentheses. So do open and close parentheses and then just move over one. Let's grab that slider and then that's it. And the, what we look is as I move through the timeline, it's not changing like I have the keyframes. But what is going to change it is if I come up to here change that to two, it'll change it to the second, change it to the third, change it to the fourth. So now I can recall any of these keyframes. I can set up all of my text here at the beginning and then just using the slider, recall any of those keyframes and bring it back. So that is using the key index right there, key index expression, very handy and you can use for multiple things, not just with the text. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.